Mofos and Mofets. That's right, the Mofos back from his trip to Costa Rica. Looking tan AF. Looking sexy AF. Looking awesome AF. You know what? The trip to Costa Rica, it couldn't have gone better for the Mofo. He had the best time. He got to go ziplining. He got to go walking through national parks. He got to sit on some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. And best of all, the Mofo got to see all the wildlife that he wanted to see. He saw iguanas, he saw geckos, he saw titi monkeys, he saw white-faced monkeys. You know, now the mofo thinks about it, there was something about those white-faced monkeys that the mofo didn't like. They just kind of reminded him of somebody. Who was that? Ugh, kind of gross. Monkeys. Filthy little varmints. Tiny, dirty, unkempt. Incorrigible, greedy, never satisfied. They're like furry little internet wrestling fans. Disgusting. But best of all, best of all the wildlife, the mobile we got to see is loss. Sloss. Sloss. Look at them. Look at their little faces. The mobile just wants to squeeze them for itself. I, for one, think, oh, who am I kidding? They're adorable. They're so cute. Their little faces. Oh, oh and they're just adorable. Just adorable. Pish posh. <laughs> the Movo love the wildlife in Costa Rica. But you know, America, we've got our own wildlife here, too. You know, we've got the, the big booty hoes. We've got the crazy gun nut. We even got these weird looking kind of troll things. I don't know what you would call them. Can anybody know? Can anybody tell the mofo what the name for these things are? But you know the worst species we've got here in America, the worst, worst, worst indigenous species here in America is the bald rat. Nobody likes the bald rat. Nobody likes to have the bald rat around. Everybody wants to get rid of the bald rat. You know, they're kind of like remoras. They're kind of like bloodsuckers. They're like parasites. They hang around something that people actually like, that people love, people can't get enough of, and they just sort of suck the life out of them slowly but surely. And every once in a while, around the bald rat, you get this other weird parasitic species, the bushy-haired rat. But the less said about them, the better. Let's go back to the bald rat. The mofo will give the bald rat this, and it's hard to get rid of them. You can suck the bald rat down as many times as you want. You can beat the bald rat up as many times as you need to. You can stomp the bald rat into oblivion, seemingly, and they just keep coming back. The mofo doesn't know exactly what it is about the bald rat that makes them so resilient. Maybe it's just that everybody's been picking on them forever because nobody likes them. Well, the mofo's got an idea. He's got a very important idea. He's got an idea he's going to pitch for this Saturday. This Saturday, a bloody harvest at the RWA in West Newton, Pennsylvania. The mofo thinks this is the perfect time, harvest season, to get rid of the bald rat because nobody likes it and everybody wants it gone. So this Saturday in West Newton, Pennsylvania for the Renegade Wrestling Alliance at Bloody Harvest, the mofo is gonna do his best. Mm, better than that. The mofo is going to do the best. Mm, better than that. The mofo is gonna do this. He is gonna get rid of the bald rat. That's right. He is gonna exterminate the bald rat once and for all, this Saturday at Bloody Harvest in West Newton, Pennsylvania for the Renegade Wrestling Alliance. And once he gets rid of the bald rat, he knows for sure that everybody there in West Newton, they'll be ready to get mo. They'll be ready to get mo.